with this patented spin move. He really is just killing his tackle. Look out, hit from behind. Greeny can wreck your entire offensive game plan. I think we just saw evidence of it right there. With the 11th choice in the 2002 draft, the Indianapolis Colts select Dwight Freeney, defensive end from Syracuse University. Everyone always said I was undersized. Too small to play the position. You know, he can't see past the offensive tackle. He won't be able to see the quarterback. But being a couple inches shorter, it gives you a natural leverage. Carr in trouble! And David Carr goes down. Just got him off balance. What a great pass rush. I was really one of the first guys that was predicated on speed, quickness, and getting to the ball. He is tough to block for offensive tackles because he's low. He's already got leverage, plays low, he's got great Speed. The fact that, hey, they can trust this undersized defensive end. It made you feel like this goes beyond football. You feel like you're in a place that you can call home. Queen is a guy that more and more people around this country are going to hear about. My first start. I was playing against the guy I played with in college, Don McNabb, and I had a huge game, and it just took off from there. As the Eagles take over in Philadelphia territory, and run and a fumble, and the ball loose. White Freeney, he's about nine yards deep. What a play by their number one draft choice this year. Donovan McNabb scrambling, fumbles the ball, and he's hit from behind. Freeney was laid a brilliant game. Where's the fumble? I was really the first opportunity that I could prove to everybody that this guy who plays the Defense event at this size can actually do it every single down. I never had a touchdown ever in the league or in college. And then, sure enough, against New Orleans Saints. Under pressure, hit from behind, lost the ball. The ball was sitting right in front of me. Dwight Freeney with the touchdown. Are you kidding? The uh -oh. bags are back. And I just took off. I don't think anybody was near me. And as I was running, I was thinking, I should do something. I should do something. A 19-yard touchdown return for Dwight Freeney. And I scored my first touchdown and my last touchdown, <laughs> but it was something that was memorable. Freeney has been phenomenal for this Indianapolis team this year. My first three sack game against the Miami Dolphins. That game there took my game to another level. Freeney locks the ball loose, picked off by the Colts. Dwight Freeney beat his man around the corner. We've talked about it, Dwight Freeney, you cannot leave him single blocked all the time by the offensive tackle. It felt like no one could block me. Just completely making guys miss. That is so hard and he's been using speed all day long. And the biggest sack was the game ender. Brian Greasy, play fakes under pressure, loses the football. Colts fall on it at the 22 yard line. Unbelievable. I flew off the ball so fast. And not only did I get the sack, I got a cause fumble and ended the game. Dwight Freeney has had three sacks and has forced two fumbles today. So the ideal situation for any pass rusher would be when the offense is scoring a whole bunch of points. And he's got Reggie Wayne for another Colt touchdown. And all of a sudden, you know they have to pass the ball and there's no hiding it. Plummer had it batted out of his hands by Freeney. He is the fastest defensive player probably in the NFL. And the Colts just trying to score more points. Obviously, the Indianapolis Colts was known for being a tremendous offensive team. James slips a tackle and is in for the touchdown. Playing with Peyton Manning and those boys over there in the offense. Marvin Harrison, Reggie Wayne, Dallas Clark. Peyton Manning has thrown five touchdown passes today. We get these leads, the floodgates are opening up, and we're getting after it. Coming over the edge, and sacked! Now, all of a sudden, the defense is starting to pick up steam. Devoured from behind, Robert Mathis, the rookie from Alabama A&M, fifth round draft pick. So when Robert got drafted, I loved the fact that they were bringing in another guy who was undersized like me. He was fast, he was quick, and now that defense is being created into what Tony wanted it to be. 
McNair hit from behind and he goes down. Hey, I'll tell Robert, hey, I'm going this way, you go that way, you know, right before the snap. It's a race. Who's going to get there first? Mathis and Sweeney both are getting to the quarterback simultaneously in this game. And if I know I'm getting doubled, I already know he's getting after it, and he knows the same thing. If he's getting doubled, he already knows his boy on the other side is going to take care. Putting pressure on the quarterback. No one does it better than Dwight Freeney and Robert Mathis. In my third year, I think it was all starting to come together to where as though now I'm, I'm kind of getting a beat on how this thing is really supposed to be done. Freeney, down. Dwight Freeney coming around the corner doing just what Bill Belichick said he didn't want him to do. You know, I played Tom Brady a lot, but also in college was the first person I ever hit and I made a play and I hit Tom way back in 1998, I think. So it was great to kind of revisit that whole deal. So, oh, good, I got another opportunity to hit Tom. Is a four-man front, the line of scrimmage, drops the throw. Sets up pressure coming, he's gonna be hit and knocked down. So growing up, no one was using a spin move. And he beat his man very quickly. It was actually coached to never turn your back to the offensive player. When you first start, you're just worrying about your stance. As you keep playing year after year, you see different things. He's really thinking that he can block me on the speed rush. That means he's opening up a little bit more. After my speed rush, after the power rush would be the spin move. He gets into Ogden's body, and then he just spins up. Jonathan Ogden cannot get his hands out on Dwight Freeney. Purely created by me just trying to find a new way to get after a quarterback. No trouble, and he's sacked. You know, I wasn't in football one-on-one -on -one anymore. You know, I was in an advanced class. Well, 06, towards the end of the year, we weren't playing our best ball. We gave up a lot of yards rushing. They're having their way with that front seven of the Colts. It was really a blow to us, but it was a wake-up call. He's in for the touchdown. Indianapolis has now lost three of their last four. We're not going to win the big one if we can't stop teams moving the ball up and down the field. So the first opportunity to do that was the Kansas City game. Going into that game, the talk was, oh man, Larry Johnson's gonna come in here, run the ball up and down the field. A remarkable run by Larry Johnson. And all of a sudden, a switch went off in our brain. First play of the game, guess what? Larry Johnson gets the call, and the Colts were there waiting for him. We knew how good we could be. And Larry Johnson caught from behind by Dwight Freeney. When they had the pass, now you're playing in our hands. Dwight Freeney, the sack specialist of the Colts with that whirling dervish gets to Trent Green. And we ended up, you know, shutting down a big Kansas City Chief team. I think our defense really came to our own. And a sack, Dwight Freeney got him. They have been making plays with their run defense and with their pass rush, the best I've seen. Here we are, AFC Championship game versus the Patriots. This has all the atmosphere. The Colts are ready. The Patriots are ready. All the years prior to, those guys were that mountain we couldn't climb. We need to step up on defense so that we can win that big game. And he is knocked back, this time by Dwight Freeney. We always know what we're capable of doing if we can actually just sit there and focus on the things that we need to focus on. Colts have taken the lead for the first time in the AFC Championship game. You know, after we score to go up in that game, there was no way Brady was going to go down there and score. Intercepted! Colts are going to the Super Bowl! I couldn't explain to you, you know, what was going through our minds and our body. It was just, we finally did it. Can you even believe we actually are going to the Super Bowl and who we beat? Our arch nemesis was something that obviously we'll remember forever. Do you believe it? The Colts are headed to the Super Bowl. The Super Bowl was the biggest moment for me and a lot of our players because it takes everybody. There's so many different elements and things to bounce the right way. Seven. Benson and the ball pops out, and Freeney is right there. We knew we were going to take care of business that Sunday. Postman, good pressure, able to unload, and look out here, he's intercepted, picked off by Kelvin Hayden. And Hayden's still running inside the 20, and Hayden may run it back all the way. He does. Here comes the bucket. I think he knows it. <laughs> One of the big stories will be not only Peyton Manning winning his first Super Bowl, but the defense, what they've done here in the postseason. It is remarkable. It is, it is remarkable. And bringing a championship to Indianapolis, it meant a lot. And the champions of the football world are the Indianapolis Colts.
Big news out of Indy. Colts end. Dwight Freeney is no longer lugging the franchise tag around. Freeney and the Colts agreed to a monster six-year deal worth $72 million. After that year, I signed a new contract. Bill Polian was not going to let this guy go. Dwight Freeney deserves $30 million guaranteed. Defensive players weren't getting as much money as these offensive players. The Colts have made him the highest paid defensive player in the history of the National Football League. Oh, and Dwight, was there ever a doubt in your mind that this deal was going to get done? Yeah, I knew they were going to get the thing done. You know, collectively as a unit, man, we're ready to go. Jackson, under pressure, lost the football. It's on the turf, and the Colts say they have it. Guess who? When you need a big play, Turn to your big playmakers. Now from the 40-yard line, play fake, look out, hit from behind, and Dwight Freeney hit the quarterback. It's Patrick under pressure. Dwight Freeney was not going to give up on the play. As I developed in my years and got more experience, I started to see these pictures of offensive tackles in my mind. Well, you can block him some of the time, but you can't block him all of the time. And looking at him knowing this is a run, this is a pass, he really is just killing his tackle. Tony Dungy and that defense, Ron Meeks, our defensive corner, always put me in position to make plays. He gets buried by Dwight Freeney. Dwight Freeney, who's unblocked. How in the world do you turn loose maybe the best pure pass rusher in football? Near side of the field. Oh, they didn't block Freeney again. When you walk to the line of scrimmage, you identify 93 and you say, let's pick him up. The Dwight Freeney era is done in Indianapolis. After 11 seasons, the Colts are not going to re-sign the pass rusher. It really wasn't on the terms that I would have liked. I wanted to retire a Colt. They had other plans, but I didn't want to end my career, so I continued to play the game because I still love the game. And dropped in midfield. Brady, the seven-time pro bowler. Also to say, hey, look, I can still play. Shotgun. Daniel is sacked. Kaepernick in trouble. Kaepernick. Oh, he loses the football. The next year, I had no idea. I was a free agent. Looked at my phone. Bruce Aarons is calling me and say, hey, are you ready to get off that couch? And I say, hi, right, Bruce. I'm with him, man. Third and 10. Black up. Freeney. Yeah. Dwight Freeney back in the sack column. Guess what move he used? Watch him on the spin move. He sets you up with the speed rush. Good night. I'm here in Arizona and having a great year. Oh, watch the spin move right here. He might as well have a patent on this. Andrew Whitworth, one of the best tackles in all of football. No match. Third down and 18. And balls out. Touchdown, Arizona. Knocked out by Freeney. Nowhere to go. Sack again. And this offensive line can't handle Arizona. Third and 14, and a safety. This time, he just bull rushes. Even with getting his face mask pulled, he's able to make a play on Tolzien. Pretty incredible play. We're playing against the Vikings. Bridgewater, better watch that play clock. The game's on the line. I spin on the offensive tackle, and he blocks me. From the pocket, sideline incomplete. I said, oh man, he, he did a great job of blocking me on this two minute drive. So I said, you know what? He would never expect me to spin twice because I never really spin twice in a row. Back to pass, Bridgewater steps up, gets hit, the ball's fumble. Dwight Freeney forced it. I'm always going for the cause fumble and I end up stripping the ball, game over. And the Cardinals are gonna hang on and win. And whenever you can end the game with a sack cause fumble, there's nothing better. And what a time for the veteran to make his presence felt. And that's the perfect moment for me. I think when I look back in my 16 years, one thing that I'm most proud of is the fact that you know, I played the game right. Dwight Freeney is relentless. You'll see him coming off the edge, just an incredible intuitive sack. You know, I played it hard. I gave the game as much respect as it deserved. That's a special player right there, Dwight Freeney. Without question, one of the most exciting players in football. So I went out there and played it hard like it was supposed to be played.